also saw as usher for his entire residency. What was preparing the looks like? So like, that's a whole that? different journey. So like each residency is, I think he deals with a different styling team. And so me and the team that I work with were part of the second part of the residency. And I actually had to live in Vegas for like a month, oh. which was a <laughs> show. <laughs> Everything smells like cigarettes, but um, it's a whole planning of connecting the dots with designers because everything's custom made. You got to have tailors on deck. You're with like 15, 20 people. Um, I didn't help with like the the styling of like the dancers, more just straight with Usher and like changing wardrobes and making sure everything's legit. And you go through like all these fittings with him to find out what exactly specifically he wants for each change of the song. And then you're customizing looks with your design team and sketching up stuff. And then you have people that are doing Saborski crystals on stuff. It's a very detailed thing, and I've never been a part of something like that, especially that uh, long. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was a definitely amazing experience. Experience. Yeah. Yeah, and you learned a lot. I'm sure also met a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, even that part, I met like uh, Rick Ross, who had already uh, worked with before. Think through my uncle. I uh, met Babyface, which was amazing. And then I sat down one night at, um, after Usher's um, like. Uh, concerts he has like um, this is when they were doing the Usher Bucks uh -huh. and they have like a little thing downstairs just like a little club and I'm sitting there chilling for like 10 minutes and I'm like and you like after a while you're just there all the time every, after every concert and you're networking I'm sitting there I'm like sitting right beside Floyd May Mayweather didn't even know who he was and I was like yo bro you're Floyd oh. Mayweather <laughs> and I was like yeah. I just went to your gym class in LA and like just sitting down doing that so I met so many dope people doing it that's so great. Yeah. And what was working with Usher like? Um, I've okay. never seen a man work like that in his life. Um, like his day started like three, four in the morning. His diet was crazy strict. He's working out ice baths. He's treating himself like an athlete. And I've never been like a fan of concerts until I went to his concert and seeing him actually work that hard to just get on stage and then he performs every night like that and seeing the outcome from everybody all around him and his team, it's like mind blowing. Yeah. But it was just like, oh man, this dude is locked in on another level and like his preparation is like none other. Yeah, and to but, be a part of that experience is truly amazing. Oh yeah, very really much proud of so. Yourself. Oh yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> And you know, he'll be performing at the Super Bowl. Yeah. Will you be styling him? Oh no, I actually, um, yeah. I saw one of my friends, uh, that's, that's how I all got connected through it. Uh, Binky, she's from Harlem. She used to be a dancer, costume designer and everything, and a stylist. And she's actually part of the new team, the old team from way back in the day yeah. that is helping them with Super Bowl and just shot their new music video I think he released last week so oh. nah, I won't be no part to that. Okay, <laughs> but based on your experience with his residency, do you think fans can expect a lot of wardrobe changes throughout? Uh, I think the Super Bowl is kind of hard to do that, yeah. uh, especially where because you're set up in just like one area, there's no like running back to another area. You may get three, three to four wardrobe changes if that. Mm -hmm.